Hello everyone, this is Sarita and Kamal. Welcome back to Krabi series on our channel. In this video, we are going to take you to one of the greenest regions in Krabi, where you get to explore dense mangrove forests, unique wildlife, and a number of archaeological attractions. But before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram. Now, let's get started. On the sixth day of our Krabi trip, we decided to take a break from island hopping tours and explore the greener side of Krabi. And that is when we stumbled upon the Borthor village kayaking tour. Ban Borthor village is a coastal town full of mangrove forests, unique wildlife and a number of caves, making it a great place to explore. One can book a full day or half day tour. We went for the later and we were glad that we took this tour. This half day tour includes pick up from the hotel and transfer to Ban Borthor pier followed by kayaking in the bay and cave explorations. The tour ends after lunch back on shore. The tour timings were 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Our minivan arrived at 9.45 a.m. and we quickly set off for this beautiful tour. The 45 minutes drive went through the greener regions of Krabi. The roads were almost deserted, offering beautiful views of karst hills and lush greenery. On reaching the pier, we were greeted by the tour guide. He briefed us about the village of Barthor, the mangroves, and gave us kayaking instructions. Okay, this is my hometown name, Barthor. We call Barthor village. And also, you know, in my hometown population, only Chinese, only uh, 170 people in my hometown. But you know, in my hometown, you know, the main job is the fishermen. The local, they do have a fish farm, the shell farm, the fish farm, they have like a grouper, snapper, and the shell, they have an oyster. But you know, this is my hometown, you know, belong to Krabi, but the last place of Krabi area, the border, Krabi and Phuket. But also, you know, also, you know they're not so far from Phuket Airport, only a one and a half hour. Two weeks they do kayaking. Like at the first cave, the cave like a tunnel. Then we kayak inside the cave. You know the first one in the cave, a lot of the rock come from the top. And the English we call stalactite. Stalactite on the top, stalagmite on the bottom. If they're together, English we call column. And also, you know, some cave, you know, we can see a prehistoric painting about 3,000 years. Then we come back here, we have lunch here. Okay. And also today, uh, when we do kayaking, we not hurry, we keep the lolly because today you are holiday. We go relax. Okay. Okay. We soon hopped into a kayak. The water was calm and we gently paddled along the thick mangrove vegetation that surrounded the bay. Our guide showed us the edible mangrove oysters attached on the prop roots of mangrove trees and asked us to stay clear of them. Getting stuck in the mangroves is quite common as we sail through the shallow areas. One can often spot some reptiles and unique fishes that can walk on land. These fishes are also known as mud skippers. They live in swamps and on mud flats and are noted for the ability to climb, walk and skip about out of water. Watching them was truly fascinating. We continued to paddle through the bay for around 20 minutes, taking in the scenic views and the beauty of pristine nature and reached the entrance of first cave, Time Lord Noah. Here begins the real fun. 
We had to drift under the massive stalactites that hung from the cave ceilings. It was a surreal experience, almost like stepping into a different world. The stalactites left us in awe as we paddled under the limestone tunnel flanked with rock formations. Once we were out of the tunnel, we paddled towards our next stop where we stepped out of our kayak and our guide led us through beautiful mangroves to Pihuato. Pihuato is an ancient cave known for its splendid stalactites and stalagmite formations and ancient paintings adorning the cave ceilings. Our guide enriched us with the history of the caves and the people they sheltered. Normally this cave, the local people they call Skull Cave. Okay. You know why they call Skull Cave? Because long, long time ago, you have uh, some family, some people, they live in the cave and they die in the cave. Mm -hmm. But the English, we call Cape Man. Mm -hmm. You know, normally the first time when the local people, you know, from my hometown, when they came here, they found the bone of the human. They found the human bone, they found a skeleton, and they found something like a cooking pot. Before, when the local, you know, they found skull, the skull very big, bigger, no more Thai people. But in Thailand, you know, the Thai people, you know, they don't know who are living in the cave. And after that, the people from Bangkok, you know, they came here, they take the bone, skull, or everything in the cave. Now they keep back, they live in a museum in Bangkok, and we call this the cave man. Mm -hmm. This is like this, like this, the tree they cut already. Oh. This one. Are destroyed? Yeah, destroyed already by the tree. Uh, this one uh, is still growing. You know, this is the water. This comes from the rain. When they're raining, the water running. This one, one millimeter, more than 10 years. Stalactite and stalagmite join together like a column. Okay. Yeah, if they join together, we call column. And this one, the highlights. It's a painting. This is 3,000 years. And also, this is the painting, you know, the local people, you know, they think uh, three different in the they look like a human. Like a human being wearing the head. The pot's too hard. Uh, yeah. And Apart from the limestone formations, one of the things that truly fascinated us were the ancient paintings on the rock walls and ceilings. Then in this cave, we had the painting about 3,000 years. The painting, normally they have uh, four different colors. They have red, black, yellow, and brown. Now we can see only two different colors, only red and black. Yellow and brown, we cannot see because the color destroyed. You know how come or why the color destroy? Norm normally the color destroy different. First, they try from the rainwater, and the second, they try from the tourists. After exploring the mysterious cave for about 20 minutes, we got back onto our kayaks and paddled for another 20 minutes, taking in the sights and sounds. We finished the tour with lunch that was served at a riverside seafood restaurant with Thai food served. 
For any specific food requirements such as vegan food, you must inform the tour guide in advance. Anyone looking for some quiet and peaceful location in Krabi must go on this half-day kayaking and cave exploration tour. That's all for this video guys. Check out more Krabi travel videos on our channel and don't forget to press the like button. Leave us a comment, follow us on Instagram, subscribe our channel and we will catch you soon in our next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.